When Jackie Stewart retired in 1973, he had won 27 races and collected three World Championship titles. Last week, the Flying Scotsman returned to Cannes, where he was promoting the re-release of Roman Polanski's epic documentary about him, first released 30 years ago. Well, Roman and I were friends, so we were hanging out together. I knew him very well, and, and Sharon, his then wife, sadly, who died. Helen and I knew them well. He came to some races with me, and uh, he, we came to some racetracks with me too, to drive with me and me with him. So he was a keen enthusiast, and I think he got the idea. Nobody had ever done it before, and to spend a weekend with one person, going through the entire experience of the different things you have to do, I think he is such a creative mind that he saw things like that where nobody else did at the time. The, um, the film gives an insight into Stewart's life during one of the most deadly times in Formula One when drivers like Jim Clark and Francois Sever died on the track. How the hell he's never been killed, I'll never know. Yeah, they, 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 no, took him off, they took him off the job for two years because he was such a disaster. Because he, he kept, you know, he would go out in the middle of the track and he keeps going like this. <laughs> you know, no, 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 and he's got the flag like this. And you know before he drops it, you know, because he's such an age now, you know, he's 72, that you see his knees go before he drops the flag. Since retirement, Stewart has become a prominent campaigner for increased safety measures and has made a name for himself as an articulate and often colourful commentator. You know, they know he's committed, he's going to come down. <laughs>